thought about it. You gonna climb the tree? <laughs> that was pretty cute. Good morning. Is it true we're out of pork rinds? I think so. Walmart has shipped, reshipped the stuff they shipped and lost while well, Laser Ship lost it. Uh huh. And we ordered some directly from Uts. I don't know if they've shipped. Okay. So you have hope that you won't be without for more than a couple of days. All right, if you say so. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have a cross. <laughs> uh. It's in the 50s out here this morning. It's obviously looking pretty nice. I've already had a split up. Tux and Panther. Tux went on the front porch after he ate his breakfast out back to see if he could steal some of Panther's breakfast. And no stripe again today. I keep looking all day long every day up the hill, but I've not seen him. Yeah, having outdoor cats is not for the weak, and if I could put every single one of them inside, I would. Um, that's not going to work, obviously, so I keep up with them as close to the house as I can. And, um, I think somebody else is feeding him. For all I know, he's in somebody's window, nice and warm inside. That would be a nice thought, wouldn't it? You sure are noisy. Yeah, getting low on charge. Well, all those leaves. And the leaves yeah, there's nice. a lot of crunchy leaves this morning. Yeah, a lot of that non-storm that we had yesterday brought down a lot yeah. more leaves. Yeah. Somebody needs to blow the yard. Yes, yeah, get right on that. I only do the driveway. That was the red-shouldered hawk. Pretty vocal this morning. Kind of flew right over my head. Hey, Donnie. You got your buddy. Yeah, he keeps stepping on my phone. I know, he came over and gave Don a little bump a minute ago, and then thankfully he went and he laid himself back down. Don is, you know, he's studying very important things this morning. Yeah. Thank you. So I put together the front of the building this morning. Um... Let's see, that's like eight windows installed. Some flower boxes. I need like 20 of these that I don't have. One more goes here and you can see how that would complete the window. These pieces are just pulled and waiting to be installed properly. Um, it's coming along pretty cool. I'm still waiting to put up more wall, A, for more wall pieces, but mostly because of the floor. There's a stair that goes here that goes up to the deck on the third level. So it's coming along pretty good and that's what I've got time to do this morning. This needs one more piece on either side here that has a hole in it. And um probably going to have Don drill a hole in one of the little dots for me. We've done that a couple of times in the past few months and you just, you can't tell. Guess who's up here? I'm so happy to see him. Hi, buddy. My camera battery is on fumes, so when it dies here in a minute. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. I haven't seen you since before the big rain. Where you been? Hi. Hi. Everything's all good, but I had to avert an uh, international incident at the demilitarized zone. <laughs> Tucks came out of the woods right when I was petting on Stripe, and I had to sneak over, grab him up, and walk him down the hill out of the way. Didn't I, buddy? Keep you out of trouble. Keep everybody safe. You guys keep me on my toes. I'm headed out to run errands. Don just got off a conference call for his contract. He's going to go run and deal with leaves. <laughs> it's pretty out here. It's uh, still in the 50s, low 60s. It's not going to be super warm today. Just saying that it's totally normal for your car to either lose, which is what folks expect a few miles while sitting overnight after charging, or gain 
Um, I actually looked down coming out of the driveway and Ruby said 216 miles and the message I got last night after she was done charging was 213 miles which is what she's been saying lately for whatever percentage it is we have it set to and um but sometimes the car recalibrates and it actually adds miles back and that's totally normal as we learned a little bit from that diagnosis we had done a month ago and also we had seen that happen before that too <laughs> when the ads back you don't ask any questions when it takes away sometimes there's where the questions come in i really love it when ruby looks out for me i'm in traffic aware cruise control it's a 55 mile an hour zone here i'm doing 57. the traffic in front of me slowed but the guy in front of me his brake lights weren't on he wasn't slowing this white chevy pickup truck but the guy in front of him definitely slowing and um ruby of course can sense that the car in front is uh i waved at that blue model x there in the other direction in the turn lane you know she can sense that the car in front of the car in front of me is stopping and slow so that you know there's not a chain reaction quick slow down you know the guy behind me isn't even less prepared than i was i just love it when she does that i don't need to know you know the guy in front of me doesn't have to be doing the right thing as long as the guy in front of him is doing it so really helpful you know there's a lot of um talk now about lane keep lane keep assist for other vehicle makers but how many of them are uh sensing the car in front of the car in front of you and making sure that you're not caught in a you know, uh, rear end collision chain event. Wow, gas at the sheets is 179. I tried to go to the Goodwill up Sunset Lake Road. They were closed. I stopped in over here at KMB Marketplace um, in downtown Fuquay and they look like they're closed um i guess a lot more places besides just guardian angel are closing on mondays either due to covid or you know just um less traffic or i don't know walmart was pretty um crowded when i went past there so i held off on going to get um a couple of things for at least one more day i just didn't feel like dealing with it and better to avoid um, a crowded store. This is one of the houses we got to tour in the Fuquay Parade of uh, Homes for Christmas last year. Um, I'm noticing the little grate, the little fence up at the very top of the roof, kind of like um, <laughs> some of my Lego buildings have. The Lego buildings use the um, skeleton leg, the black skeleton leg to do that. Anyway, this house was all lit up nicely in the sun, and I thought I'd stop and appreciate it for a minute. Well, Don's certainly been busy with the blower. <laughs> I would say he's been busy in the front yard, too. Just got to turn off his podcast. Hey there. Hey there. Looks like you've been really busy. Yep, I've um, blew the yard, the driveway. I did not do the cul-de-sac. I um, changed the light bulbs in the cat hotel, my catio. To uh, Wi-Fi bulbs. Wi-Fi, right, so we can turn them on off with A. Uh, they're brighter. Uh, put the big bulbs in there. Okay. And I uh, redid the location of the z-wave switch uh, so that you could plug a heating pad in out at the um, catio you can't see my face but i gave him the extra super duper please girl smile yeah, <laughs> yeah well you know <clears throat> keeping cats and kittens warmer i guess is my job in life <laughs> uh-oh here comes okay, a delivery man, i hear the driveway alert let me move ruby so Amazon and an Amazon truck delivered this envelope to me today and it wasn't sealed and Don didn't realize it and the item that I ordered isn't in the envelope. And then FedEx came with a box from Walmart 
which we knew was too small and it was our regular driver and Don asked him was there more boxes or anything and he said no so I go into Walmart no problem if it's multiple boxes arriving on multiple days but Walmart says they've delivered all six items to me and I got one item so ask me how I'm feeling about deliveries today or maybe don't unless you want an earful. Well, the messaging assistant for Amazon said they'll just drop me another one in the mail, no problem. So that's good. And Walmart, it took longer and it was a real person, but they gave me a refund. Take five days to get my money back, but they're giving me a refund. And at this point, I think that's got to be the way to go. I was not going to let them try to send me the items for a third time. I'm trying to calm down about my package dilemma. Yeah, I got her something cute. I did I don't I'm not familiar with this character but Don says I should be well yeah it's um uh, my childhood I think this was a big guy in the 50s and into the early 60s because I remember seeing him all over the place his name is Reddy Kilowatt Don says it's R-E-D-D-Y not R-E-A-D-Y yeah Reddy Kilowatt like well I'm he's very cute and I like him tons yeah. but i I, I never saw him. Yeah, so let me say, if you got any of this ready kilowatt memorabilia, like lunch boxes, coffee cups, stuff like that, uh, go to eBay. Your, you, your retirement is assured. You're taken care of. If only you save things like me. Yeah, well, this is a this is a reproduction knockoff. Now, would he be? $3. It's a sticker. Yeah. Now, would you or decal? Would you be yeah. more? Would he be more in the south than north? Would that be no, maybe I mean, why I've not seen him? I think this was out west. Uh, it, it was oh, out when you were in California, California not when you yeah. were in Alabama. Yeah, was in the Navy, that's right. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. way cool. Yeah, ready, kill the So I had two Lego packages in the mailbox today. But they weren't the right Lego packages. Not the one I needed. This one says by 9 p.m. Oh. today. I keep on hitting refresh, but it hasn't been delivered yet. 